Salat is the form of prayer that is done by all Muslims at least five times periodically throughout one's day, every day. The Islamic religion believes that when a person prays, they are putting God before themselves. Islams do this prayer five times a day and sujood, or prostrate, while doing so. It is done five times a day to continuously remind the person to not put himself or herself before God or put any of their wants before God. This daily ritual will shape a Muslim's life in the long term. The goal in doing this every day is that it will affect the way a Muslim thinks. They will become selfless, not only with people they encounter in their daily lives, but most importantly, in front of the eyes of God. Zakat is the concept of charity and giving 2.5% of all income towards some form of charity or the poor and needy. What this does is attempt to eliminate inequality. It gives Muslims a personal responsibility to help those in need. By doing this, they are honoring Allah and touching base with the materialistic side of life and putting others before themselves. Ramadan is the holy month of fasting that is done by Islamic devotees once a year. If health permits, Muslims will fast from dawn till dusk. They are not allowed to have any food or drink between that time. However, between dusk and dawn, they are allowed to have all the food and drink they desire. Similar to Salat, the duration of Ramadan gives people a chance to reflect. What shapes and forms Muslims during this time is the self-discipline that is learned, the compassion that is gained, and the dependency that is realized. Life is incomplete without God, and we need a major reminder of that. One thing that is not so habitual as the prayer that is repeated five times a day. Shahada is the complete devotion and confession of oneself to Allah. Quote, there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his prophet. Unquote. Smith, page 160. A Muslim must declare that there is only one God, Allah, and that Muhammad, blessings and peace be upon him, is God's messenger. The phrase, I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except God and Muhammad is his servant and messenger, which is usually recited in Arabic, is stated during the Salat. The Hajj is the journey that must be taken by all Muslims during one time in their lives. All five pillars must have a balance within a believer's life. It is the pilgrimage that is suggested for every Muslim to do at least once in their life. There are people from many different cultures and races from all over the world that visit the Hajj in the holy city of Mecca. Many Muslims can say that this journey to the Hajj changed their lives, including Malcolm X. Malcolm X experienced racial violence at a young age when his father was murdered by the KKK. Malcolm grew up in the segregated South and turned to a life of crime. He was arrested January 12, 1946 for burglary when he attempted to pick up a stolen watch he had left for repairs at a jewelry shop. While in prison, he read through the Quran and picked up the Islamic religion. After being released from prison, he began his civil rights movement and followed his newfound fascination of the Quran when he joined the Nation of Islam. Malcolm encouraged violent means towards racial discrimination and devoted his life to fighting white oppression. Even though he fought the civil rights, he still believed in being separate from white Americans. But Malcolm's journey on the Hajj would soon change his perspective on segregation and what it meant to follow the Islamic faith. The purpose of the Hajj is to solidify a believer's commitment to Allah. The Hajj promotes a sense of blending together the masses towards furthering their connection to God. Before Malcolm X began his journey, he was a devoted Muslim who believed in a more segregated faith. But as Malcolm X advanced in his journey on, of the Hajj, he started to realize that all Muslims are the same under Allah. Malcolm was amazed by his experience on the Hajj and said, quote, I have been blessed in the, to visit the holy city of Mecca, Novak 331. After he finished the Hajj, Malcolm X became more accepting of all believers of Islam, even if they were white believers. Malcolm changed his name to a more holy and Muslim title of El Hajj Malik El Shabazz. He re realized that he and all others who hold faith in Allah are the same. Malcolm said, quote, and in the words and in, in the actions and in the deeds of the white Muslims, I felt the same sincerity that I felt among the black African Muslims of Nigeria, Sudan, and Ghana. Novak 332. Malcolm X did not feel the presence of segregation or the harsh Jim Kerr laws while he was in the Islamic holy lands. Malcolm marveled at the idea of blending into the crowd with one single goal of showing devotion to Allah. 
The Hajj was an eye-opening experience for Malcolm, as it is for many Muslims. This journey changed Malcolm's life, and he returned to the states a born-again Muslim. But Malcolm was soon assassinated by three Nation of Islam extremists on February 21st, 1965. He was murdered because he disagreed with the Nation of Islam due to his newfound view of acceptance within the Islamic faith. His discoveries about peace and equality that he found while in Hajj went against the teachings of the Nation of Islam and eventually cost Malcolm his life. Malcolm died a great leader and was beloved by the African American society as a symbol of the civil rights movement.